Hey everybody, welcome to the new video. This is Max from Server 133. In today's video, I'll be speaking about one of these magical generals that I consider not at all helpful or important for a very long time. But I just realized that if I could have used that general, my gameplay would be totally different. And before I introduce you the general to you, let me tell you it is easily available in the tavern. You can get him for free. Not free, you will have to spend gold and some gems to refresh it. But yes, you can get him easily. You don't need to buy any packages, nothing at all. And it appears to be not at all important. It appears to be a very, 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 very useless general. It is useless when you're trying to fight in the battlefield. But if you're planning to set up traps, it is one of the best generals that you can use during the normal server PvP or the SVS PvP. So let's first understand the scenario. So one of these days we had a bubble drop in our alliance that was something like this. She had lost her bubble and the other alliance players were attacking us with a very big math size. That is 2.2 million. Uh, however, I had a huge loss in that. You can see. The point is, I shouldn't have had this loss, but uh, I saw a ground march coming and I reinforced, but happened to be there was uh, mounted in it. Not mounted, I'm sorry. Yes, there was a heavy mounted in it. And that miscalculation costed me a lot of my mounted troops as well. The point is, I could have sent even a bigger march, but I only sent a small march of 1.5 million. I could have sent the entire big size march, but why didn't I send that big size march? Why didn't I use my march size buff to save or to support my alliance member? And that is because my hospital capacity is 1.6 million. My current march size with the march size gear and the march size uh, skill book on general with the Aries uh, set or the march size ring the overall match size goes around 1.6 million without using the match size buff which is equal to my hospital capacity so even in case if i'm not able to recall my march during a, a defense and uh, all the troops get annihilated or killed sorry or all the troops get wounded they'll all come to the hospital and it's easy for me to revive them by just using resources and speed ups remember this is not at all something that a coiner must do. This is for a non-coiner player, not for a coiner. And I'll tell you why. For a non-coiner, during SVS, if your troops get killed, they are permanently lost unless you have source of life to revive. You get ample of source of life when you purchase packages in the recent uh, event where they had the thanksgiving event where they had double down group and i purchased a cert certain amount of packages and i got around 1500 source of life on my account which now has totaled up to if you see 3660 source of life that's a very good amount of sol but for a non-coiner who barely invest five dollars in his or her account the amount of source of life that they can get is maybe maximum 25 or 26 source of life per pack of five dollars that is also after they consume their gems if it is one of these event packages maybe another 10 or 20 more so in in short 35 to 40 source of life a non-coiner can get even if he is only investing five dollars every day but still that is not going to be more than 300 source of life over an entire week provided if you are regularly investing five dollars what is the point of this entire discussion? So let's say as a as a non-coiner, I activated my March size buff, which I don't want to waste at all. I have 200 of those, but I don't want to waste it. Uh, gives me a total March size of 2.2 million troops. Now imagine if I reinforce one of my alliance member with 2.2 million troops and the enemy server comes to our home, to our server and rallies that player at the moment at which I have lost my focus. We are setting up a trap, but I lost my focus. And maybe the guy who was the trap forgot to bubble up or some mistake happened that I uh, had a defense lost and all of our troops were permanently wounded. 
not permanently wounded but wounded my hospital will only hold 1.6 million of my troops but the 400000 of my troops would get killed if i am fortunate enough out of that 400000 around 50000 to 100000 would be layers that is starting from t1 till t11 but what about the t12 t13 and t14 those are the heavy troops I'll still be losing a huge amount of my T-13 or T-14 troops that will be considered killed during the SVS. And to revive that many amount of troops, it is going to cost me at least uh, 100 source of life or even more than that. I'm not 100% sure about the number, but it's going to be expensive for me to revive around 400,000 of my big troops. How can you make it economical and easy to revive them? is basically not get them killed but let them get wounded because if they are wounded you may not be able to heal them instantly but over a span of few days or weeks after you collect some resources and speed ups by joining boss rallies or gathering or by simply uh, being active and joining uh, the witches golems warlord lava turtle rallies you will get enough of resource boxes and speed ups to eventually heal your wounded troops However, when it comes to a coiner, he or she is normally loaded with approximately such, such 999 into 10 or maybe into 20. They have too many, too many source of life. They even sit unbubbled and get zeroed. Even a 1 billion power keep can easily revive without any stress. Well, that is because they have so many source of life. So for such players, Using speed ups is not recommended because they will be investing their speed ups to heal their troops during a uh, battlefield so that they could qualify for the all stars. Now you can use this trick to qualify for the upcoming all stars is basically take endless number of hits and keep healing your troops. It's going to cost you a lot of speed ups but it's going to eventually fetch you a lot of points. Now coming to the main reason or main thing how you can improve this hospital capacity of course your researches play a lot of important role when you do researches in the medical in the defense category there are a lot of researches that i can show you right now that will improve your hospital capacity which is uh, increases hospital capacity by 100 percent advanced medical power this appears in the defense category in your medical aid you have a uh, some researches in here, a lot of my medical researches are pending, wow. One is the hospital scale, that only increases 50,000. <laughs> uh, as you move down, there is super hospital scale that increases 150%. Then there are new researches that also improve the hospital capacity, which is going to be only 50,000. The point is, your hospital capacity is going to imp improve a lot. But... How are you going to manage to take it to the capacity of 2 million or even more so that your entire march with a 200% buff of 2.2 million troops even if you have a defense lost are all saved into the hospital and that is possible with this magical defense general Richard the Lionheart who is somewhere in the bottom of my list <laughs> there you go now i have put richard the lionheart on my wall and my hospital capacity has been increased by only 250000 which is not enough for a 2.2 million but at least you can send another 250000 troops to reinforce your alliance member in case you are planning to set up a trap. Now if you have a defense lost in this situation. There will be 50 to 60 thousand troops that will be layers. Low level troops that which will be lost will not pinch you a lot. Will not hurt your source of life count at all. The another amount of 150 thousand troops that will be wounded. Sorry will be killed. Will only cost you another 30 40 source of life maximum to heal yourself completely. Which is equal to a 5 dollar pack. However, if you are able to acquire the general scanner bag, it is hospital capacity by 25% when the general is hospital officer. 
So this 25% is basically going to be the 25% of 400,000. That's going to be another 100,000. So taking your hospital capacity to a total of uh, 1, 1 1.975 or you can just round it off and say 2 million. So if you are able to reach your hospital capacity to 2 million, you can easily reinforce anybody and do not worry about getting your troops killed. But the only problem is getting scanner bag is a little expensive. You will have to spend a lot of money and uh, that eventually is for the coiners. But coming back, if you don't have scanner bag, but just have Richard the Lionheart, put him on the wall. He has straight away improved my hospital capacity by 200,000. And in fact, it is 250,000 or even more than that. First, it was 1.6 something and now it is uh, 1.875 so that is a huge amount of troops being saved in the hospital also let's have a look about the speciality of the general Richard the Lionheart I'm not saying that you must have him and always have him as your defense general but we'll have a look at the speciality he increases hospital capacity by 30% when general is the main city defense general then there is siege machine HP and defense there is uh, hospital capacity another 10% in city ground troop and mounted troop attack 10% siege machine attack HP defense 10% apply to the main city defense general hospital capacity another 36% so if you specialize this general which is not at all worth to invest so much of gems and uh, rune stone chest <laughs> but if you get blessed and specialize this general it is going to easily give you a hospital capacity of 2 million or even 2.1 million but I'm not going to uh, recommend you to do that it is more than enough that your hospital capacity is improved so with a total hospital capacity of 1.8 million or something I can easily reinforce somebody and do not worry if even if my defense is getting lost because if it is so, the troops are going to be hospitalized and I can heal them. And as being a K35, K36, not 35, K36, I will be upgrading my hospital to a level 36 soon, which will also improve my hospital capacity. By It looks 35 over here, but when you do the maths, it's going to be 4 times. So another 150,000 will be improved. What is the point? The point is I'll be able to reinforce somebody with a complete 2.2 million march without the fear of losing my troops permanently or getting them killed let me tell you this video is only and only going to be helpful for people who do not have much source of life or who do not spend much money in the game but i do not recommend you to make richard the lionheart as your main city defense general uh, in your general fighting purpose let's say you are playing for the throne wars one of your alliance members is going to cap the throne. You are not somebody who is going to be actively focusing on uh, doing PvP rallies or you are not that strong yet to do it or somewhere you are lacking. You can at least reinforce that player with a full match size and you will be still able to make points during the SVS or during the standard server fight. Well, this was what I wanted to cover. Also something new that has come up that the developers have banned a lot of these accounts of the players who were buying and selling resources in their server which I feel is having both the sides. One is a good one that those who were doing this business of buying and selling resources uh, they were basically not playing game for themselves but they were actually working in the game and uh, having a good source of income and I was really happy about such guys. Uh, unfortunately, the developers banning them uh, have resulted into those guys losing a good source of income. But on the other side, it is a good thing that people who used to spend money to buy resources now have to actually pay the game that they love to play. And that is how you will be supporting the developers and supporting the makers of this game. No, no doubt there are a lot of bugs, there are a lot of glitches, there are a lot of errors that happen. But... If you send a ticket, at least 50% of the chances for higher VIP levels is that the developers are compensating or 
you know helping them out some of the scenarios where people have got genuine losses and they are just raising ticket to trouble the developers that is totally unfair and i would not uh, really favor that because i had one of these situations wherein i was having a genuine loss i shared the report i made a video and then i got the compensation but the reason they were saying that we didn't find anything wrong because the uh, view that they had the perception they had was correct on their side but when i showed them the report i showed them the time stamp that i had enough time to port out from the attack but due to the lag i could not port out and had a heavy defense loss they did the compensation anyways so for all the people who have been watching this video thank you so much for uh, tuning to the channel please subscribe share the video if you have any questions you can get in touch with me over the game i will provide you with the discord uh, channel link so that you can join the group there are a lot of smart people in the group that can also help you with your doubts and uh, well finally time to say a uh, huge thanks to all the subscribers for making my channel big i have been able to make a good amount of money from the from the youtube and i really thank you all for the help and support hope to see you all very soon this is max from so 133 signing out i will see you next time